In this video, we are going to learn about the nature of matter. In the previous chapter, we studied that matter is divided into three parts, namely solid, liquid and gas, which was based upon the arrangement of molecules, intermolecular space and intermolecular attraction and so on. So these are based upon their physical arrangement. In this chapter, we are going to study matter in a different way based upon their chemical constituent. So based upon their chemical constituent, we can divide matter into two main parts, pure substance and mixture. It has more subdivision following the two. Pure substance has constant composition, which means that they are homogeneous in nature and constant composition means that it is always the same element in the same mass proportion. It can be further div be divided into elements and compounds. In mixture, unlike pure substance, they do not have constant composition. Always it will be either heterogeneous or homogeneous mixture. To understand homogeneous and heterogeneous, we have taken the example of salt in water and mud in water. We can see in the diagram on the left side that a mixture of water and mud and on the right side we can see a mixture of salt and water. Salt in water is homogeneous because the salt dissolves and becomes a constant composition whereas the mud and water the composition cannot mix well and we can see that the mud settles at the bottom of the container after certain amount of time elements they are pure substance and cannot be made smaller or you cannot break it into smaller part so many elements are already identified till date as much as 100 and 118 elements are identified in which some of the elements are made by scientists and the rest of the elements are found naturally they can be subdivided into four class namely metals non-metals metalloids and noble gases firstly we're going to study about metals metals are found inside the earth crust as ores. Ore is a naturally occurring rock that contains desirable minerals. It is an electropositive element and also sonorous. Sonorous means that they can produce metallic sound when struck by some hard object. It is malleable which means that it can be beaten or made into a flat or thin sheet and also ductile which means that it can be drawn into wires. In this picture, we can see some of the most common used metals. Here, we can see some of the common metal used in the table. The metals from magnesium to radium, the symbols are derived from the names. Whereas on the right hand side of the table, from sodium to tungsten, the tables are derived from the Latin name. Non-metals are mostly gas like hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. Only few of them are solid state. They are not sonorous nor luster. Metalloids Elements which have both the properties of metals and non-metals. Noble gases as the name suggests that they are all in gaseous state. They are present in the earth atmosphere in a very less percentage. They are very unreactive and they are monoatomic. Here are the list of noble gases along with their symbols and atomic number. Compounds Compounds are pure substance which are formed by combining two or more elements and when they are combined they can be separated only using 
chemical means not possible using physical method the properties of a compound are different uh, are different from its constituent elements this can be explained using a simple experiment in this diagram we observe the sulfur and iron filling placed in a different bowl when mixed together the mixture can be separated using magnet but here the iron filling and sulfur heated on top of the porcelain dish by a bunsen burner will have a reaction between the two elements and forms iron sulfide fes and magnet when kept near fes will not be attracted by it whereas iron and sulfur mixture without heat will be attracted by the magnet compounds are homogeneous definite melting point and also have definite boiling point definite chemical and physical properties next atoms and molecule smallest particle of an element so it cannot be made smaller or unsplittable every chemical matter every matter is made up of atom elements contain only one type of atom where molecules contain two or more types of atom some molecules are made up of only one type of atom which is shown here in the example one two atoms of chlorine combine to form one molecule of chlorine in example two we can see it shows a chemical sorry it shows a molecule containing different atoms which is two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combines to form water H2O. Next, we are going to study about atomicity. Atomicity means the number of atoms present in one molecule of an element. For example, oxygen, which can be written as O2, it contains two atoms. And also ozone, O3, which contains three atoms. The numbers which is present next to the symbol represents the number of atoms present so atomic number <coughs> sorry so monoatomic will have one atom example he diatomic will contain two atoms like o2 oxygen triatomic will contain three atoms like o3 ozone there are few elements that contain four atoms called tetraatomic like phosphorus p4 and octaatomic which contains eight like s8 symbols the short form used to write names of elements is called symbol for example lithium symbol is li capital l and small i whereas carbon the symbol will be C next formula when two or more elements combine together they form a compound and then they can be represented by a represented by a formula it has its advantages its advantages are it shows the number of atoms in their compound and also what type of atoms are present and also it can indicate the mass of the compound. Thank you.